Hallelujah family. God bless you. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. I count myself privileged to be in a position where God can minister to me and I relay it to you. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you've seen me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and to help you know God for yourself even better in the name of Jesus. So please become a part of our community by subscribing to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notifications notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word you will not miss out i always say you never know when god wants to minister to you directly hallelujah and to all my returning subscribers god bless you thank you so much for stopping by god bless you tremendously in the name of jesus thank you so much for believing in me hallelujah god is giving this prophetic word to someone probably you messed up something happened and you messed up and you know it and you feel like it is all ruined right now there is no way this is going to work anymore you have ruined things and you are so worried you are you are asking yourself how do you where do you go from here how are you going to make things work again how are you going to fix things the lord says i should tell you don't worry he will fix it god says i should tell you because of your faith don't worry he will fix it you know it's easy for people to abandon when they've messed things up it's easy to just let go because you feel like it is ruined there is nothing much that can be done about it it's easy but because you are still worrying on the same path because you are still believing that there that somehow perhaps god can still fix it god is going to honor your faith there is nothing that is so bad that God cannot fix. As a matter of fact, God delights in handling things that people have given up on. He delights in handling things that people think there is no possibility here anymore. You see, when Lazarus died, it was a hopeless situation because he was already, he was already, um, excuse me, family. He had already been in the grave for, what, four days. And anybody that is reasonable would think, you know, nothing can happen again. Lazarus has already been dead, you know. And it's already four days in the grave. It would have been easier if Jesus prayed for him while he was still sick. One day in the grave is better, but four days. But that was what Jesus came. He said, this is for the glory of the Lord. You have ruined things and you actually confuse where you are right now. It is for the glory of God. God will fix it. He will turn things around. Just because you could still hang in there you could, and you could still trust him. Our God is a God that knows how to redeem situations. He knows how to redeem situations. He knows how to turn things around when they are all bad and all sad and all hopeless. And he's about to do that for you. And I have come to learn that God is a fixer. He says that he has come to preach deliverance to the captive and to preach healing to the broken hearted. So what does he do to the broken heart? He mends, he fixes, he fixes. So when you think that I am broken, nothing much can happen again in my life. God comes and patches you up and fixes you. So do not worry, child of God. You are not um, irredeemable. Your situation is not such that nothing can be done about it. Just because you trust the Lord and you are hanging on, regardless of the fact that it is um, almost impossible, regardless of the fact that the conditions are not favorable and you cannot even see beyond where you are standing. It's so bleak. You don't even see the future from where you are. God delight in such cases. God delight in such cases and he will honor your faith 
in the mighty name of Jesus. God will fix things again for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to do the impossible in that situation because of your trust for him. Because you trust God. Trusting God does not mean you do not fall from time to time. But trusting God means when you fall, you stand up and you believe him for another step. You have trusted the Lord. You have believed in him. He will not let you down. He is going to fix a child of God. Do not worry. Throw your cares upon him for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon the Lord for he cares for you. And he's going to fix that which seems almost, you know, um, irredeemable by his mighty power, by his wisdom, by his strength. He's going to fix it and you are not going to believe the outcome. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day. Shalom.